Well, howdy. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> Not like the bars we're <laughs> used to. we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm a <clears> transplant, but me. I'm never leaving. I'll get you in a second. All right. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's going to happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably run back to Britain with the tails. We're going to have to annoy him, aren't we? You got that right. Oh, he's coming. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Right, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. What? Oh, so, oh, he's talking about uh, Angelo Dutch, Monty. so he knows that Mr. we're together, big, obviously. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. That's the one. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Oh, kids, great, yeah. Fantastic. My last oh, run in the alley friend, went great. You'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Okay there, bud. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right. Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. All right, thanks, ma'am. I get interrupted, they're arguing. <laughs> yeah. No. I kind of want to hear what they're arguing about. Okay, fine. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. Huh. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Oh, bad bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, Mr. Total, this is seven dollars we clean. spent on finding him. Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. I believe Is that. that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. I think we've been there. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steel. Oh, look at this. Hey, you little pair of You shit. little shits. Get going. He's coming after us. You give that back. Wow. <laughs> You're dead if I get you. You're dead.
Same to me, man. Can't trust anybody. This is the second time we've been robbed. Bastard got off. Ah, oh, damn street trash. You after that kid? Yeah. Other shit went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. Where is he? God damn it. Where's the kid? Which way did he go? Oh, I calm down. He went that way. Thank you. Thanks a lot, mister. That's enough. Come here. Hey! Moron! Bye, mister. <laughs> Cocky little bastard. Feed. Stop, God damn it. I'm being chased by the village idiot. Stop, little shit. You're making a fool of yourself. Wait till you see what I make of you. This is your last warning, boy. My Out of the way. Oh no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tell me where the kid is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry. No, no. Yeah, get out of here. Morning. Morning. Where is he? I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Hey, a boy ran through here. I need you to tell me which way he went. He ran around the corner there. You ever heard of the word please? No. Not at the moment. I won't look at There he is. Wow. 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 Now what? What's the problem, friend? Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend. But that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was going to show me before him. he robbed me. Now, come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> You don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. <laughs> oh, that just pisses me off. Little pricks. Oh. Okay, Mr. Roach is a little too far. Damn horse. You know what? While we're here, I'm gonna check out the gun shop. Welcome to Cao Chow. Hello I don't think there. I've seen you here before. That's correct. When you're ready, have a browse of our catalog, and I can go out back and get what you're looking for. Okay then. Uh, let's have a look. What do we got? What's what's interesting here? Rifles are always fun. Ooh, a varmint rifle. I've wanted to buy one of these, but we haven't seen it in the previous shop. It's a fine firearm. And it's free. I could fit some different stocks of you. Could make it more comfortable on the shoulder. Hmm. 
Let's go with a uh, short scope because we need this for like small things. Components. If you're looking for the best, I think oh. that's the right choice for you. Look at me, I. This Would is exactly what I want. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? Uh-huh. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. I am looking for the best, can't you tell? We also offer an engraving service in case you are interested. Yeah, that's what I want. Art Nouveau, Victorian, Ornamental. That is not bad. Black Maybe and Steel I sounds cool. a smaller store in Chinatown. Something cheaper. But I'm sure things will turn around. Yeah, it might. These are all owned... Carcano is locked. Sawed off shotgun. We have the double barreled already. Semi auto is locked as well. Pump action. It's free. I'll take it. Thanks. Repeating shotgun also locked. Do we not have these? Permanently increases capacity for repeater, rifle, and shotgun ammo by 50%. Alright, and then let's just check the, the basics. Show field, semi-automatic. All the semi-automatic stuff is locked. This one's free. You made a good decision. Mauser's locked. Lancaster, it, it doesn't say that we own it, but I'm pretty sure we own a Lancaster. Maybe a different one. Alright, we're good. Thank you. That's it for now. Nice one thing I'm going to do is... Uh, with some of these shops, if we can get behind them. I'm gonna look, I, I don't know if we're gonna have that same availability of peeking into certain windows and stuff in a city like this, but maybe. Gentlemen. Ah. Howdy. Yeah, see, I don't see anything here. You doing all right? You um, acting like the devil's in you. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. All right. These little prick kids making me get my sweat on. It's fine. Do I know? Look where you're going, please. Is that him? Over here. Yeah, he's sitting over there. Where have you been? It's a long story, Get dude. Robbed. Who by? <laughs> Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire. Anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I'm curious as to why they would give us that 
location because they're working for him. Presumably, he would allow certain things, and it's interesting that he would allow that. I cannot decide which I like less, the swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east to land we know, and far from real open country. Hello. Good morning. Mr. Roach. Well trained already. Alright. So Dutch is here. Wait, Mary Beth. Oh, okay. Leopold wants to chat back at home. Let's check out what these strangers are looking for. Who am I looking for here? For the love of God! <laughs> Clear! Just right I in his way. What the hell is this place? Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Oh, God. Sure, what you want? Brandy! Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Oh. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. <laughs> I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have <laughs> been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm. Asshole. Mm. Whole that ass. Too. <laughs> that too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like him. Yeah, but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No, according to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina... That is truth. Breasts is truth. Art for it is. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Oh, hello uh, there. You know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. What the hell? Buy a man a drink, get a naked doodle. Well, hello. Charles Shatani's sketch. Move yourself. Okay, I'm looking at my art. Sir, will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. 
You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, Father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some... some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How are you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. Yeah. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like Saint-Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. Oh, I really? Don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. That's crazy if true. The broker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door. Well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. What? Help the poor. Might be helping more than that. I don't really have any use for the trapper at the moment. Looks like there is a fence over here, though. Maybe that's the same guy that we are going to be antagonizing, though. Let's see. Yeah, I think so. Hi there, mister. Feel free to browse. Okay. Shall do. Looking for anything in particular? No. Uh -huh. Just looking for a real nice cabinet with real nice drawers. You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Thanks. Got a few paintings over there. Something for the wife, maybe? Well, you just let me know if I can help it all. Yeah, will do. Thank you. There's something else over here. Yeah, here we go. This guy's going to be thinking. This guy comes in and just opens all my drawers. Oh. Hold on a second here. Look at that thing moves. Oh, uh, nothing much back there. I'm afraid of just a few old books. Yeah. What about these scratches? Something don't seem right. Sir, uh, what are you doing back there? What's back here? Looks like this pulls out or something. Pulls out? No. <laughs> How about you open that door? Door? What door? You know what I'm talking about. Don't the be dumb. Hidden door. Or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I, I swear. Open the door. Now. Oh, okay, okay. Might Just be a bit late for that, but... Red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Don't go anywhere. Wow. Sketch. Oh, hello? Gadgete, gadgete. Hello? You okay? Holy hell. Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Ayúdanos. Did not expect this. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. ¿Quién eres? No, 
Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Come with me. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. <laughs> Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. This guy took off. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. Oh, look at this! Give cash to them. Absolutely. That's cool. Here. Take that. And come with me. I know someone who can help you. That's so cool. Come with me this way. Yeah, like, what would you do in this situation if you're them? Glad to see you again, sir. Can you help these guys? Brother. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my, that's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that, they're very unusual. I don't <laughs> think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you, I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. No, they can take it. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. We're approaching come maximum generosity. Sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. All right. I'm guessing this one's on a timer. Yeah. Find the captives without threatening. Okay. Now, is there anywhere in here that we want to visit? Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing a show at some point. There's somebody up here. Let's go chat with him. Or her, or it. Or them. Somebody. Watch out. The hell do you think you doing? I'm swirling Move in the streets. It's a new horse. Huh. Excuse me, bud. Move now. Come on. Are you hollering? <laughs> so Roach is like, I'm on. Right. <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but. Do you know where I might find some moonshine? I used what? to. Moonshine. You no, know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. Mm. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen. Don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? 
Oh, I'll blow something up, right, sounds trying. like. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. What? Hundreds of gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. Support good cause. Uh-huh. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Yeah. Cool. All right, so that's a ways out the road station. Uh, so why don't we... I'm tempted to go back here and talk to uh, Leopold and the gang, but Dutch probably isn't going to be around for much longer in the area. There's also this like. So now it's two in the morning, and you I still see this cannot find here? my other uh -huh. shoe. Hey there, fellas. Looking sharp. Got something to say? I don't know. Maybe he doesn't know who we are, huh? Should I? Hey, easy. Private conversation. Move it. All right. I'll check out the photos another time. The tailor, though. Oh, this, we're gonna run into some people for sure. Hello. How are you today? There's this weird crossover this between vehicles and horses. Hello, welcome. Oh, there's gonna be some nice stuff here. Now, what's going on in here? <laughs> what do we have? The Saint Denis. That's okay, the basic. The course in the Bretain. The Deauville. Let me vote. <laughs> yes. That is one of my favorites. I knew it would be. Estate boss hat. Just seeing if there's anything like. I'll only shut up once I can vote. Anything new that we haven't necessarily seen before? If These deluxe relentless boots. You just let me know. I don't know if it's that important. I'm with you. Okay, let's just maybe grab a different hat because this one's going to be ridiculous. Western hat, bowler hat, Paragon Town hat. We have styles for all persuasions, but I'm sure you'll look good in anything you choose. Uh, let's go with. Nope, don't like that. That is a local favorite. Not bad. A little too floppy. How about military scout hat? Actually looks pretty good. Your hat says a lot about you. You're Make right. Sure, it says the right thing. Hmm. Is that a hmm of approval? Thank you. It was a pleasure. Know what I need. Thanks for your assistance. I want to vote. I insist that I deserve. Look at oh, look at us on Mr. Roach right now. Look at that. That is amazing. Excuse me. Won't you support What's got me into you? Families? Think of what they sacrificed for everybody. Wendy! Find it in your heart to give to 
those who gave everything. Your donation will greatly improve the lives of our nation's what heroes and their loved ones. I'm just up me, sir. donating money Can all over the place. For a minute of your time? All right. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. sure. Less than a minute, I promise. <laughs> uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall. Okay. A shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. Yeah, I can do that. $20 ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. <gasps> That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. Oh, cool. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. We're going to have to check when this is done. And look for that plaque. Ah, can you get out of the way? Yeah, I'm on it. All right, time to talk to Dutch. 